All right, this video shows you how to set up a Mastermind GT22 with a Fractal Audio Axe FX3. Um, this is an updated version for the uh, uh, 4.1 Beta 2 firmware. We changed a few things from the, uh, the version that we had shown in our last video, so I'm going to show you how it's done here. Uh, first thing is a couple things that need to be done on the Axe FX itself. Um, in the setup menu, um, you need to go down to um, MIDI and Remote and you need to make sure a few settings are set correctly. Uh, MIDI channel should be 1, send real-time sysx should be on, and program chain should be on. And that should be all you have to do over here. Um, we have the two units connected with two MIDI cables, one from the GT MIDI out to the Axe FX MIDI in, and one from the GT MIDI in to the Axe FX MIDI out. Um, we do sell a Phantom Power Box that combines those two MIDI connections and the power connection into one, and you can put that in your rack with your Axe FX so that only a single 7-pin MIDI cable goes to the GT22, but that's optional. Either one will work equally well. Okay, so to get things set up, you go into Setup by holding these two buttons under the main screen, and we're going to go to Edit Devices, and then we select this uh, upper slot where it says Effect Gizmo, and we're going to change it. We're going to press type, and then we're going to select Fractal Audio and Axe FX 3. Um, and we do a couple other things here. We uh, want to do set default buttons to page 1. And what that does is it uh, sets up the first button page to be a button, or a page full of buttons that control the Axe Effects specifically. Um, we can hit set default pedals, which sets up the expression pedals uh, part way. Um, we're not going to address this in this video. And um, now we can read down the preset names from the Axe FX. So you hit get preset names. And this is where it changes a little bit from the last video. Um, on this one, we're going to, um, we have, there are three modes that you can work in. If you just use it the way it is, it's only going to read the preset names. If we turn get scenes on, it's going to read the, the scenes and the presets. Um, and there's an additional option, uh, create songs. And what that does is described in the previous video. But for this one, we're going to focus on what happens when you uh, turn on get scenes. So we're going to read from preset 10 to preset 20 on the Axe FX. And then um, we're, they're, they're going to get saved to starting at preset 1 on the, uh, on the Mastermind GT. You can set these however you like, and it will automatically read all the scene names because that's turned on. So we can hit start, and it'll ask for sure, and we'll say, sure we are. And after a few seconds, it will read all of that in. Okay. So now we can hit done several times to back up out of the menu. And now you can see it uh, looks a bit different. Um, we have um, a bunch of buttons here for the different effect blocks. We have an amp block, chorus, delay, drive. Um, when it's uh, in this uh, aqua or cyan color, it's turned on. When it's dark blue, it's off. And so we can just go in and you know turn on the chorus and turn on the drive. Um, you'll see that there's some other ones here that may be hard to read in the video, but these are buttons that control Amp 2, Compressor 1, Drive 2, and these ones aren't available in the current preset, and so that's why they're kind of uh, turned off. But if we switch to a different preset that had them, they would light up. Um, each button has a, uh, a secondary function where you can select the channel. Most of these uh, blocks have four different channels you can select from. Um, and so what you can do is, if you hold this for two seconds, it'll pop up a menu asking you whether you want to do channels A through D and uh, select it accordingly. Uh, let's see here. We also have, as you can see, tap tempo working with it, and it'll always show the current tempo, and you can tap any other kind of tempo you like. Um, the tuner works as well. You can... Uh, um, you know, it'll just display the Axe FX's tuner here. And then, um, most importantly, you see your preset names across the bottom here. These are just taken from the Axe FX presets. 
Um, the way it's set up by default is if you press the IA mode button, those uh, change to scene buttons, and you can see now for the Brit 800, there are um, three scenes that are defined, and we can um, switch between those. Um, there is a, uh, an option here in the menu. I'm going in to display settings. There's one that says scene names, and you can turn that on. Hit done. And so now it displays the preset name on the top and the scene name down below. And so we, you know, as we change the presets, you can see how things change up here. The effect blocks change. And if we hit IA mode, we can change the scenes through there. And so now with the Mastermind GT, all of this is totally user configurable. So, um, you know, you want to move these things around, or if you want to take the scene buttons and move them out from underneath these other ones, all that can be done um, using the onboard editing or the uh, editor software. And you can reconfigure all of this any way you like. The text, the colors, um, the button locations, and all that are totally user configurable. And uh, so that's our, uh, our intro for uh, 4.1 Beta 2. Uh, I, I expect that the, uh, the final 4.1 will be pretty close to this, but if you're uh, interested in giving the beta firmware a try, um, this should uh, get you started. Thanks.